and he is before all things and by him all things consist 18 and he is the head of the body the church who is the beginning the firstborn from the dead the firstborn from the dead that in all things he might have the preeminence so he is called the firstborn when he's raised from the dead he identified with humanity in his death so he becomes seen he is raised from the dead as the first begotten in the incarnation he is the only begotten in the resurrection he is the first begotten please pay attention the first begotten so anyone who believes in jesus is raised from the dead and when he's raised from the dead it is called born of god he is born of god that is that person that is born of god is called the church because the church is called out the greek word ecclesia the called out ones is called out from the dead as the church of the firstborn the church of the firstborn came out of death is called out from the dead so everybody in the church is born from the dead everybody in the church that is born again is born from the dead so the church of the firstborn or the church called out of the dead please stay with me everybody in the church therefore is born from the dead from spiritual death to spiritual life that is the church of the firstborn now he says he is the head and he has preeminence look at that colossians chapter 1 verse number 18 and he is the head of the body the church who is the beginning the firstborn from the dead that in all things he might have the preeminence the word proteo first place first place he is called the model the model all right the prototokos the kind of the son that we are he is the kind of the son that we are he is the model son this is the kind that's why paul will say you have to acknowledge who you are in christ in philemon 1 6 that the communication of thy faith may become effectual how by the acknowledging of every good thing that is in you because you are in christ so you don't try to copy christ you don't try to copy christ you don't sing so songs like lord i want to be like jesus in my heart get born again get born again we are not copying christ christianity is not a copying of christ we are not trying to be like him lord i wanna be more like you get born again get born again christianity is not trying to copy christ or copying to be like christ when you acknowledge you acknowledge because you are already like him the acknowledgement is not to be the acknowledgement is the acknowledgement of who you are already of course it will eventually affect your lifestyle but your nature is already like him it is from the position of being like him when you acknowledge it starts affecting your lifestyle you don't try to be like jesus you receive jesus and his nature takes up residence on your inside then as you begin to learn who you are and what you have by virtue of having christ when that reality begins to dawn on your consciousness it starts affecting how you live because the protocols is not better than all the songs he is just the model son he is not an improvement on the sons the prototokos is not an updated version of the sons the prototokos is not a better quality of son he's not a superior quality of sons he is exactly 
being like the sons that's why he is the prototokos or the model he is just the preeminent one among the sons that is the model or the kind of the son that we are so you don't stop stealing to be like jesus you are like jesus so you stop stealing you are not stopping lying to be like jesus you are not trying to be like jesus by moral conduct or by behavior no you acknowledge you are like jesus and from that position it begins to affect lifestyle and begins to affect conduct so you don't stop stealing to be like jesus you stop stealing because you are already like jesus you don't attain unto sonship you are already a son but when you acknowledge it you begin to live like one you are already a son when you acknowledge it you begin to live like one you don't stop a behavior to be like christ you stop a behavior because you are like christ say with me very loud as he is so am i in this world right now he is called the only begotten because he can't be like that anymore and no one can be like that the only begotten incarnation and the reason why he's called the only was because he's the only one that came from heaven so the only begotten but all of us were in debt so he became a man and took our state in death and identified with us and when he rose by his resurrection all of us when we accept his resurrection we also rise from the dead that resurrection is called born again it's called the new birth or it is called the new creation that is why he is called the only begotten in the incarnation and is called the first begotten in the resurrection so he is called the church of the firstborn the gathering of the firstborn he calls us from the dead so he is the model son Romans chapter 8 verse 29 for whom he did for no he also did predestinate conform to the image of his son that he might be the firstborn among many brethren firstborn among many brethren the King James version did a bad job here it says to be conformed to be conformed let me rearrange it the way it is in the original greek okay he also did pre-plan those he foreknew he also did pre-plan conformed pre-plan not to be pre-plan conformed to the image of his son is the plan that is conformed to the image the plan he is not asking you to be conformed the plan conforms to the image of the son was the plan that he will be the firstborn among many brethren so the plan conforms that is it conforms to the image of his son not that you conform he is already the firstborn among many brethren it is not the brethren that are conforming they are already brethren what conforms is the plan the plan is for him to be the firstborn among many brethren the firstborn first begotten model son among many brethren the word brethren is used in the greek for those who share the same parentage for those who share the same parentage the greek word adolphos adolphos you share the same womb so he says the way he is you are like that among many brethren that's the plan the way he is you are exactly like that among many brethren that is the plan so the plan conforms to the image of the son 
what's the image of the son he is first born among many brethren that's the plan amongst many brethren the many has no number the word brethren is the word adolphos used for a common womb many brethren in the greek is the word police police means without number the firstborn is just one among uncountable number of brothers that's why he said as many whatsoever is born of god as many as receive him where is the womb where is the common womb from where both the firstborn and the other brethren came out of death we were all dead in sins jesus joined us in death and rose as the firstborn among many brethren yeah firstborn first begotten now remember he's not the only born and he's not the first son he is the first begotten he is the first begotten the first begotten can't be more than one but those that are born like him are now without number that's why he said as many now listen the only begotten from heaven is incarnation the first begotten from the dead is resurrection in the incarnation he is like us Ayada. at the resurrection we are like him please stay with me at the incarnation he is like us man like god at the resurrection we are like him so when is the new birth possible the new birth is only possible at his resurrection so no one could have been born again until jesus was raised from the dead that's the terminology born of the spirit in john chapter 3 verse 3 john chapter 3 verse 5 6 7 8 born of the spirit so his church are those who are born of god hebrews chapter 12 verse 23 to the general assembly and church of the firstborn which are written in heaven and to god the judge of all and to the spirits of just men made perfect did you observe the spirits plural spirits of just men general assembly that word general assembly there the word assembly is not the same word for church it's an old word panaquiris panaquiris in the greek p-a-n-e-q-u-r-i-s it means a public place where people celebrate a public place where people celebrate for festivities that is something that calls for joy something that calls for joy to the general festive place to the general festive place the church the ecclesia to the general festive place the church the ecclesia which are registered in heaven it means to enroll written in heaven to enroll used for jesus in luke chapter 2 verse 1 where it talks about the census that happened when jesus was born